Svante Arrhenius was the first scientist to give the theory of electrolytic dissociation. This theory describes how the process of electrolysis takes place. Let's see what the theory of electrolytic dissociation says. In the laboratory, electrolysis takes place in this apparatus. This is known as an electrolytic cell. It consists of two electrodes, a solution, and the two electrodes are connected to a battery. This electrolytic cell consists of a non-conducting vessel. And in this vessel, electrolysis is carried out. And the two metal rods that we saw, they are known as electrodes. The electrodes are the metal plates, or we can use wires or graphite rods, which are immersed in the electrolyte, that is the solution that we take, through which current enters and leaves the electrolytic cell. So this is the electrolytic cell. It consists of the two electrodes. The solution that we take inside this electrolytic cell, it dissociates into ions. It forms positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. This solution is known as an electrolyte. So an electrolyte is a solution which in aqueous form or in molten state, it dissociates into ions, that is into positively charged cations and negatively charged anions. Now, we know that the two electrodes are connected to the battery. So when we have these two ions, that is cations and anions, the positively charged cations, they migrate towards the negatively charged electrode and the negatively charged anions migrate towards the positively charged electrode. So this is what we observe. Now, the cations are migrating towards this electrode. So this is known as cathode. As the cations migrate towards this electrode. The anions migrate towards the positively charged electrode. So we call this electrode as anode. So the cations migrate towards the cathode and the anions migrate towards the anode. So the passage of electricity, that is since we are con connecting it to a battery, through an electrolyte causes the cations to migrate towards the cathode, which is the negatively charged electrode, and the anions to migrate towards the anode, which is the positively charged electrode. Now, let's do a question here. The positively charged ions, that is, we know the positively charged ions are cations. They migrate towards which particular electrode during the process of electrolysis? So we know that the positively charged ions are cations and the cations migrate towards the cathode. The cations are positively charged they migrate towards the negatively charged electrode, which is known as cathode. So now the cations migrate towards the cathode. The anions migrate towards the anode. At any time during the electrolysis process, the total number of positive charges is always equal to the total number of negative charges in the solution. So whenever the total positive charges is equal to the total negative charges, this solution is always in equilibrium. By equilibrium, we mean that the, solu that the solution is always electrically neutral. So we get that the number of positive charges is always equal to the negative number of negative charges. So the electrolytic solution is always in a state of equilibrium. And by equilibrium, we mean that the solution is always electrically neutral. So it is always in a state of equilibrium. Now let's observe that the cations are migrating towards the cathode. So in order to become neutral, they take electrons from the cathode. And the anions migrate towards the anode. So in order to become neutral, they give away the electrons to the anode. 
since the total number of positive charges is equal to the total number of negative charges so the number of electrons the number of electrons which are gained by the anode is always equal to the number of electrons that are lost by the cathode since the total number of positive charges is equal to the total number of negative charges so the number of electrons involved are always the same at the cathode and the anode now when these electrons are involved what do you observe the cations are taking the electrons from the cathode and the anions are giving the electrons to the anode so what do you observe you see that a closed circuit is being formed and in physics you have studied that electricity flows only when there is a closed circuit so in this case due to the presence of ions in this solution which discharge at the particular electrodes there is involvement of electrons as these electrons are gained and lost they form a closed loop which allows the passage of flow of current through this electrolytic solution so we get that all ions carry an electric charge and this allows the flow of current through the electrolytic solution now observe that these cations are discharged at the cathode and the anions are discharged at the anode this means that the cations become neutral at the cathode and so they form the product at the cathode similarly the anions in order to become neutral they give away the electrons to the anode so they are discharged at the anode so their product is being formed at the anode so the product of electrolysis are always formed at the cathode and the anode this is because the transfer of electrons is taking place at the two electrodes so the products of electrolysis are always formed at the cathode and the anode so let's revise what is electrolysis electrolysis is the decomposition of a chemical compound that is the electrolyte that we are taking it it dissociates into the cations and the anions and this is accompanied by a chemical change the chemical change which allows the flow of current through the electrolytic solution and this allows the passage of electricity so this process is known as electrolysis